Hello, welcome back. You might remember me from my previous videos. Why is my 4080 not working? Or part two of the series, why is my 4080 still not working? I'm here for part three. I fixed it. Stay tuned and I'll show you what I found. Okay, I'm going to try and demonstrate this the best I can. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, uh, I've been troubleshooting a, a line pressure issue with my transmission. I've had the transmission out four times. I've put it back together again four times. The shed floor is completely covered in ATF. I've had a rough six weeks. The problem is the filter. The whole time it was the filter from day dot, from first fire up, it was the filter. I had no line pressure the first time I fired up this transmission and it was the filter. So apologies to everyone in the uh, the Facebook group that said to check the filter. I immediately, well, I, don't, I didn't exclude this, but I didn't check it thoroughly enough. And due to ease of availability in Australia, I didn't just simply change it over. My other transmission has a shallow pan. It's a different filter than this one, which uses this is a deep pan filter. So it wasn't as easy, didn't think it would be a problem. A lot of that was blind loyalty to Jake's, assuming that a high performance, high flow filter would be high flow. It is for a very small amount of time due to a, a, a quite a significant design flaw, which I'm going to demonstrate. Um, what I found and what Jake's do is they just get a, a cheap filter. I don't know if they do this in house or they contract it, but this is what's done. They get a cheap filter, which is fine. They Peel it open, they remove the, the standard paper style filter membrane that's in there and they replace it with some brass filter gauze. This stuff, nothing wrong with this as far as filter material goes, this will do a really good job, but you really need to use the entire surface area. If you don't use the entire surface area, you get a lot of flow until you don't. And that's my problem. So what happened with this is and ignore this hole in here. I think I did this taking it apart. Hopefully that's focusing. I can't even really tell. Yeah, I, I think I made that hole pulling it apart. Doesn't matter either way. I don't plan on reusing it. I'm just demonstrating on how this design could be improved and what risks you run into by not doing something like this or running this filter as it is out of the box. The problem I had is where this sits, roughly there, as soon as this starts to st get any type of material in it, the suction from the pump will suck that part of the filter to there. And what was happening is I got this much dirt in the filter. It sucked to the pickup neck, so it lines up with the neck, and it completely plugged it. Completely plugged it to a point there was no line pressure getting through it idle. Now, if you look at it from this side, and it's, oh, it's a little bit smaller, but this is effectively the amount of filter area you're getting when that sticks to that area. The standard base has some corrugations which will keep a, a rigid filter material off it, but it's not gonna work with something as flimsy as this. It'll do a little bit, but you can see by the indentation and you probably can't now because I've just made a new one, but there was an indentation in that spot. And I'll I'll splice in a bit of the video from, the, from my discovery when I found this. You can actually see the accumulation of dirt on this spot. And I'm not talking a lot of dirt, I'm talking a very small amount of dirt that, yeah, wouldn't have been good to go through my transmission, but at the end of the day, it was only some kind of fabric material, probably from a rag, that would have just got chopped up and moved on somewhere else in the transmission. It wouldn't have killed it. But what would have killed my transmission is this filter getting plugged up with that dirt at full noise. If I was barreling down the drag strip and all of a sudden I had zero line pressure, I'm going to destroy my transmission, completely destroy it. And that to me defeats the purpose of having a filter in the first place. The filter is there to keep out dirt, but you want to keep out, you want to keep dirt out of your transmission so it doesn't destroy something. If the filter itself aids to the likeliness of you destroying the transmission, it is no longer completing its actual purpose. So what I propose would be done with this, and again, I'm not going to do it, is to use something like this stuff, which is a relatively rigid steel mesh, build a little sort of like a ledge 
for the for the bronze filter material or brass filter material to sit on top of. So it can never really suck down to that pickup location. So what I'll do is I'll just cut a piece of this off and I'll just make what I'm what I'm talking about and you can see the point that I'm making. All right, that took me about five minutes. That's my idea. No, it's not the only idea. This is a way that you could make this filter work without the risks to your transmission. There's likely other ways. I mean, there's a risk with this as well. There's a risk that one of these little pieces might break off and then find its way into the pump, which would probably do some damage. A better solution would be like a, a 3D printed plastic that's tolerant to heat and chemicals, like the same ABS that this is made out of, or was it PA66? The same material as this, as a, like an inside sort of companion piece, then you know it's going to be fine. And if it did break off or melt or get into the pump, it's not going to hurt anything. That's an alternative. I don't have the means to do that. This is the way that I would do it. And you can see I've just roughly cut this out in the shape of the border of the filter base. And now what will happen is if this filter mesh sits on top, there is no way that the pump's going to have enough vacuum to suck that completely flat and block all of the other channels underneath. It's just, it's not going to happen. And if it does, it's full. Your filter is completely full of dirt. You've got bigger issues, but it's not going to be blocked by that tiny amount of dirt that I had. This is what I would do if you're hell bent on using one of these performance style filters. That'll work perfectly. I personally won't be. I'm just going to use an OEM filter. There's always a risk that you're going to get dirt in your transmission, but it needs to be able to tolerate more than this amount of dirt. Otherwise, you're just on borrowed time. As I mentioned earlier, if this was enough to completely clog the filter at idle, imagine getting this much dirt into your filter at full noise and what would happen to your transmission. At least if you do this filter mod, that amount of dirt isn't going to bother it. I guarantee you there's more dirt than that in a standard filter and it would not notice. That's the way to go. I hope that the few people that watched this and actually listened to the point that I was making understands what this would do and aren't just the fanboys that have come across on the internet that, that think that Jake is God's gift to transmissions. And the amount of people that carried on that my, the problem with my transmission was caused by the fact that I didn't clean my converter. You'd have to be absolutely mad to spend $600 to cut open a torque converter just to just to clean it after removing it from a transmission that didn't have an issue sure if i if i burnt some clutches or fried something in the transmission i would absolutely have that that converter cut open but not out of a clean transmission that i know the history of that's just a waste of money six hundred dollars ridiculous anyway thanks all for watching um next video hopefully we'll be back at the track with my car hopefully hopefully ready to run some nines Thanks all, stay tuned.